So now I'll tell you how this got started. 11 years ago, uh, I started working on a project to put a dent in the problems we're seeing with kids involved with pot and alcohol. Even athletes at Olympic level, professional level, so many of them are into social drug use at levels that affect performance. So after I had been a high school athlete, growing up in New York State, was a three-time state champ in New York State in two different sports, I became a college athlete. I took running. I was my best sport in high school was wrestling. I chose running. I went to run and ran for Oregon, Oregon Track Club, and Bill Bowerman, the guy that started Nike, was my coach. And I ran for 20 years as a distance runner. Then I became a coach, but I also at the same time became a physiologist, a sports scientist. Started to study in Europe, stayed there for three years. Came back and started working with Olympic athletes. I set up shop in Lake Placid, New York, a winter sports capital, a town that hosted the Olympics twice, 1932 and 1980. And there's an Olympic training center there, so I went to work there with athletes to coach them and also test them. And we have a state-of-the-art facility there. It's one of the three Olympic training centers. I ran the educational center and the laboratory there on and off for the last 25 years. And uh, you're dealing with people that are on junior national team, national team, and Olympic teams. In the lab, I did over 14,000 tests on those top-level athletes, just performance tests, tests to look at what makes them tick, what makes them improve. So you get a pretty good perspective from dealing with those kind of people. I also coached the whole time. I had 28 Olympic athletes I coached, and I had five medalists, and three of those were gold medalists. So uh, my success rate in coaching was pretty good. Most of that stuff I learned in Europe. I served on those international doping control teams for performance-enhancing drugs the cheating drugs, steroids and EPO and all those drugs you read about so commonly nowadays for people taking shortcuts. And I served on those international drug control teams for over 25 years trying to catch people that use those cheating drugs. I also went to work with some pretty special projects and among the most special for me has been working with the Navy SEALs. You know, really the people that give us the freedoms for us to be here tonight having this talk. And uh, that's quite a project. I just can't tell you too much about it. Um, but what we teach is not about drugs and choices as much as what we teach is, is lifestyle, how you live your life. And even for adults tonight, you'll learn some things maybe that can help you live your life a better way. And the reason we have to do it is because we really don't teach lifestyle or measure lifestyle in our society. We just sort of let people make one up. And uh, I look at a lot of kids nowadays, the source of how they make up their lifestyle is what they see. What they see, and the majority of what they see now is, is television and internet and, uh, and so forth. And that has a huge impact on the things they think they want to be involved in and sometimes the things that they are involved in.